Hey guys, Splice Wave here, and in this video I'll be showing you how to download, install and play PlayStation Home offline on any PS3 that's running HEN or custom firmware. And for those of you who need to get your PS3 on either HEN or custom firmware first, I've left a link to a video tutorial on how to install HEN in the video description. And a few important things to note before we get started. The first is how long this will take to install, which is roughly 5 hours, and you will need roughly 30 gigabytes free space on your PS3 to install this. And in this video, I will show you two methods to install this, but you should only do one of them. Method one is installing this via Fire Transfer Protocol, FTP for short, which I recommend for those with fast internet speeds. And then there's method two, which is installing this via a USB flash drive. I would recommend a USB flash drive with at least 64 gigabytes of space on it, as I'm going to use in this video. So now that I've explained that, let's get into the video, starting with method one, starting on PC. So here we are on PC, and what we're going to do is open our browser, and then copy and paste this link, which of course can be found in the video description, which will take you to a Google Drive folder, and inside the Google Drive folder, you will see a PKG file, which we'll need to download, so just simply download this, download anyway, and we'll let it download. And once it's finished downloading, we'll continue on. Okay, it's completed downloading. Now we also need to download a piece of homebrew called Webman, which is what we'll be using in order to transfer over the PS Home PKG file via file transfer protocol. So head to this link, which of course can be found in the video description and paste it into your browser, which will bring us to Store Brewology, where we can scroll down and find download for Webman mod. Just download it. Should only take a few seconds, it's only a small PKG file. And then once that's done, we can close out of the browser and then plug in a USB flash drive and open up File Explorer. And what we're going to do is we're going to format it to Flash 32. So simply find it in your list down here, right click it, format, and then select FAT32. If it doesn't show here, don't worry, I'll show you an alternative way. Then just click Start Format. If you have anything on it, make sure you back it up before you do this. But anyways, we're going to click OK. As you can see, it's been formatted. And for those of you who need to know how to format it, if it doesn't show here, if FAT32 doesn't show here, here's how to do that. So for those of you who can't format to FAT32 the way I just showed you in File Explorer, here's what you do. So you open your browser. And then copy and paste this link, which will take you to Rufus. And then what we want to do is download the latest version of Rufus, which at the time of this recording is Rufus 3.20. So we want to download it. Then we want to run it. Might ask us if we want to allow this app to make changes. Click yes. And then we want to select our USB flash drive. For this, it's this one. Then we want to click non-bootable. Then I believe just leave these as they are. And then if it's not already selected, we want large fat 32. Then we want to click start. We'll give a little warning just like it did in File Explorer. Just click OK. And now our USB has been formatted to fat 32. So now we can close out of the browser and then we can go back into File Explorer. So here are on File Explorer. Now what we need to do is go to downloads find the webman mod that we downloaded earlier, copy this, and then simply paste it onto our USB. If you used Rufus, these two things will show, but you can just delete them if they're there. And then now that webman's on there, what we wanna do is simply eject our USB. And then take it out of our computer and plug it into our PS3. And now we'll move over to the PS3 side of things. Okay, so here we are on PS3. First, let's enable HEN. If you're on custom firmware, you obviously don't need to do this. And then now that HEN's enabled, what we want to do is go to Package Manager. What we want to do is make sure our USB is also showing up. So if we just go to Video, for example, we can see our USB device is appearing. That's good. So we want to go to Package Manager, Install Package Files standard 
and then as you can see the webman mod so what we want to do is simply install this and let it install as you can see it's done installing and now we've got a webman icon now for this we need to hold down l1 after we launch it so we're going to press x now hold l1 And there we go, we can let go of L1 now, and it will reboot our PS3. And then what you want to do, just to be on the safe side, is re-enable HEN or restart your console. You can do either. Okay, so we're back. So what we want to do is we want to go down to Settings, Network Settings, and go to Settings and Connection Status List. And then take a note of the IP address which mine is 192.168.0.27 alright so now that has been noted down we're gonna need this so now keep your PS3 on but let's go back to the PC and we are back on PC again so let's open File Explorer if you don't already have it opened then go to Downloads and in that extremely large PKG file PS Home Offline Full we're just gonna copy that and then we're gonna go up here to the top bar and then we're going to type FTP colon forward slash forward slash. Then we're going to type the IP address, which is 192.168.0.27 forward slash. Your IP will probably be different to mine, but whatever it was on your PS3, just type it out and then followed by a forward slash and then hit enter. Then we're going to go into dev HDD0. And then we're going to find the folder packages. And then we're going to simply paste that PS Home Offline full PKG right into here. And then when it's finished copying, we'll continue on. Okay, it's done copying over. So let's head back over to the PS3 and begin installing this. So here we are on PS3. Now what we want to do is go down to Package Manager. Install Package Files. PS3 System Storage. And then find it here, PS Home Offline Full PKG. And now this is the part that will take between 4 and 5 hours to install. So let's do that now. And then once it's done installing, we'll continue on. And now for method 2 of how to install this. So to start off, you will need to open your browser. And then copy and paste this link, which is in the video description which will take you to a Google Drive folder where there'll be a file called pshomeofflineparts.ra then we need to download it click download anyway and let it download and once it's finished downloading we will continue on okay it's completed downloading so now we can close out of the browser and then we're going to plug in our USB flash drive into our PC and then let's open file explorer and the first thing we need to do is make sure that if you have any data on here you want to just back it up and then go right click on it format and then file system and then fat32 will show up here and then you want to click start but if like mine you can't click fat32 here and then click start here's what to do what you want to do is Open your browser and copy and paste this link in the video description, which will take you to Rufus. And you'll need this software in order to format your USB drive to FAT32 if it doesn't show up there. And scroll down till we find download section, and then we'll find the latest version, Rufus, which at the time of this recording is 3.20. So you want to click on that, download an exe file, then we want to run it. Click yes if this comes up. And then we want to select the USB drive, which is this one for me. And then boot selection, we want non-bootable. And leave these as they are. And then if it isn't already, select large FAT32. Then click start. Again, brings up a warning to say that all data on the device, on the USB device, will be deleted. Click OK. Then we can close it. Then we can close out of the browser. And now, let's go back into File Explorer. So now let's open File Explorer again. Go to Downloads. 
And then for this, I'm going to make it half screen like that. And we're going to open PS Home Parts. You'll need Renoir for this, although I assume you already have it. This might come up, don't worry. And then you'll see a folder in here, PS Home Offline Parts. Then we want to open it. And then there'll be seven of these. Well, when I record this, there'll be seven. If there's eight or nine or ten in the future, copy all of them. And then you want to select them like that. And then on this list, go onto your USB. If you formatted it like I just did with Rufus, you can just delete these. doesn't matter. And select all of these PS Home Offline part files. At the time, like I said, there's seven, but if there's eight or nine, include the other ones as well. And then let it extract and copy over. And then once it's done, we'll continue on. And as you can see, it's finished copying. So now we can close out of WinRAR, go back into File Explorer. And now, as you can see, they're all here, like I said. So now we can just eject our USB stick. And then we can plug it into the PS3 and then start installing it. And so here we are on hand. So if you haven't already, plug in your USB and it'll appear right here just under video. And then scroll down. If you're on HEN, enable HEN. If you're on custom firmware, you obviously don't need to do that. Once you've enabled HEN like I have, go to Package Manager, Install Package Files, Standard. As you can see, they all appear here. But don't just click on it one by one like this. That will take forever. What you want to do is press Triangle on the Standard folder and click Install All Packages. And then let them all install. And when it's done, we'll continue on. And as you can see, it's in finished installing. So now it says install completed. We can now press back. And just like that, PlayStation Home 1.86 appears on our home screen. Now I just want to let you know, you can just boot this like a regular game. But let's say you've just turned on your PS3 and you're on HEN. You need to enable HEN before you boot it. Otherwise, it will give you an error code when you boot it. But anyways, just simply boot it up. And it'll work just like PS Home Offline always has. Anyways guys, that brings us to the end of the video and I hope you all enjoyed it. I've got a few things planned for PS Home Offline over the coming weeks, so stay tuned for that. But until then, take care and peace.